All right, I'm going to go over how to create a fully functional 3D cube or box in Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to hit spacebar to stop this, go to new composition. And if you want to be perfect about the dimensions, you can change the width or height right here, but I'm just going to show you the concepts in this video. You're not going to be perfect about creating the box. So the details you can worry about later. First, we're going to go to layer, new solid, and we'll do it like the box you just saw. We'll make it green. Beautiful. Okay. And zoom out just a bit. And we're going to shrink this in. I'll grab one of the handles, it can be whatever size. Okay, so there's our first side. And we're going to control C to copy this, control V three times for the other three sides. And we're going to rename this. It's going to be our front, our back. left and of course the right okay also I'm going to copy the front and paste it one more time and create what I'm gonna call center reference point point. and the reason I'm creating that is so we have something to rotate the box around because we're gonna move all these other sides out to the walls of the box so we're not gonna have that center reference point unless we create another object there so that'll come into play later. We'll go over it in a bit. First, we're going to move this front portion out. But before we do any of that, we're going to need to select this box for the 3D functionality for each of these layers, each of our sides, so we can move them around in 3D space. We're going to go to four views instead of one view. And I'm going to select front. And I'm going to grab this blue arrow for the Z axis and move front wall towards the front. I'm going to select back, grab the same arrow, move the back wall to the back. And then for our right and left layers, we're going to go transform. First for the left, and we're going to go 90 degrees rotation on the Y axis. So that brings us there. And we're going to move this to the back. See if we extend too far, that wall comes right out. So we want to align it as best with the corner as we can. And then I'm going to close that, go to right, transform, same thing, y-axis, 90 degrees, enter, and move this, sorry, I think I moved the other one to the, to the right, okay, that's our right side, we're moving that to the right, I'm going to go back to left, if I need to correct that, yep, I did, so we're going to move that to the left side. Okay, we can see up here our front and back need to change a little bit. So the front, I'm going to drag, oops, deselected it, that blue arrow, drag it to the front and the back. Same thing, blue arrow, the z-axis, move it to the back. Okay, so if we go back to one view, real quick, I'm going to zoom in a bit, go to layer, new camera. Okay, it's fine. If I go to my camera orbit tool, I can move that around and we see what we've created so far. And we see our center reference point piece going through the middle, but we don't have a top and a bottom. So let's get rid of the camera and we're going to go to the center reference point. Control C to copy, paste, rename. This is going to be our top. All right, so I'm going to drop my top down after I go to four views once again. Drop my top down, transform, and we're going to go to the x-axis this time, 90 degrees, rotate it where it's horizontal, we see it right there. I'm going to grab my arrow, again we see this isn't perfect, we're not worried about perfection here, I'm going to stretch that out, okay, and then I need to move it to the top, because it's stretched out in the middle at this point, there's our top layer. Now I'm going to take the top, close that up. Control C to copy, Control V, right click to rename, bottom. Okay, now our bottom lights up and we want to take that and take it to the bottom with the blue arrow, same Z axis. Okay, go back to one view, layer, new camera one more time. That's good. Grab our camera orbit tool. 
Now we have a much more sided out box with our front, back, left, right, top, and bottom. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that camera. We don't need it for now. What we're going to do is work on the animation so we can start spinning that box. Okay, we're going to link all of these sides to the center reference point so they rotate around the same center. And we do that by running underneath parent here. We have these little squiggly lines. We drag each of these lines for each layer to the center reference point. You see where it changes from none from each layer for each layer to the center reference point. So the top to the center and the bottom to the center. Perfect. So we drop down center reference point, transform. For animation, we click the little stopwatch looking tool for our first entry point, and then we go to the end. Got our first keyframe here for our second keyframe. Click that to create it, and then we're going to go 360 degrees because that's a full rotation and we just want it to repeat. So I drag it back and we can see we've got a box or a cube 3D that's moving. Beautiful, but it's a little hard to distinguish between the sides as you can see when it moves because we don't have any light. So to give us a better idea of uh, how it looks when it turns, we're going to go to layer, new light layer. Okay, beautiful, now we got some light. So we drag it again and we can see those sides. And we see the imperfections here and there. Again, wasn't too worried about that. If you want, we'll adjust them really quick. Of course, I can't know what you want or not, but just to show you, I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to go to four views again and shrink all these up. You can see this back one. We got that piece coming through right here from our center reference point. I'm going to spin that back. There's our front right, back, okay that's our left side, so we're going to click that, we don't want our x-axis, we want the z, okay, drag that forward just a bit past the outside of that, okay, so we've covered up that side, and is this our back, alright, you can see that's in a little bit, so we'll pull that out some. Got a little gap in the edge here, and you'll just have to play around with this to get it just how you want it. But uh, roughly, that's how it works how to create a box or a cube in Adobe After Effects without any external help. So, fully functional cube in After Effects. There you go. Enjoy.